Okay, so today I wanted to try to do a video over Kohl's because I feel like I always have a little bit of that extra Kohl's cash and I want to spend it on something, but I never know what to spend it on, right? So, okay. So this is basically a tutorial that will show you exactly what I have bought from Kohl's, what I think about it, what I don't think about it, you know, what I like, what I don't like, um, what you should and should not buy. Um, in my personal opinion, again, it's just an opinion, but... Um, I will tell you I have very, very dry skin, so if something works on me and is easily blendable, then, I mean, that that's going to be a good product for anybody. Um, this was our final look using the clothes makeup, so if y'all want to go in with me and figure out how to do this look, then we will go and do that. Um, if y'all have any other suggestions, please let me know, anything else you'd like to see. So, Real Techniques brush. Cleaner. Lorac 2, Purse Array, Pure Selfie, The Balm Highlight Contour Palette, Steep Clean Bliss, That's Incredipeel Bliss, Cargo Blush. Those are things that we would be going over. And like I said, if um, you want me... Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Oh, how could I do this? So, you know, whenever you go to Kohl's, they have like all the displays out of everything. And I try and... I look like this whenever I went to the store. Wait, this <laughs> has splotches literally all over me and they would not come off. So I tried some of the balm uh, makeup remover on my hand. I will say it leaves you very uh, Vaseline feeling like. So I would totally skip on that. I do not want to feel like I have Vaseline all over my face after I get done taking off my makeup. It was just gross feeling on my arm and I could not even imagine on my face. So while uh, yes, it does work amazingly as far as taking the products off, the way that it leaves your skin afterwards, I would definitely not get. Um, by the way, we're sitting in my nursery because it's the only quiet place in the house and I even have a hard time blocking that off to be quiet. So <laughs> until I get used to it, y'all are just going to have to do it being in the nursery. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So without further ado, let's get this video rocking and rolling. Okay, so for Kohl's, because I always have Kohl's cash, I'm always like, what should I buy, what should I not buy, and if I've already bought everything for the kids, then what else am I going to buy? Now this right here is the Bliss Wipes, and they are $49 regular price at Kohl's. I got them from half price. Um, I do not suggest these just because of the price tag, and I don't feel like they really do that much. You leave these on for all night. If you don't have anything else that you want from there, you can buy that. I would suggest this one. The Steep Clean Bliss. It really does minimize your pores and clog them. Uh, makes your face look really nice. Um, so yeah, and that one is $55. But I got it on sale, so if you watch for sales, you should be able to get that one on sale as well. Um, so... Let's just dive right in. I usually do my eyes first. I went ahead and put on a little bit of foundation today just so that we could skip that step. Um, but I usually do that part last. But we'll see if I regret that or not. So we're going to go ahead and take out the Lorac. Comes with this little eye primer, which we're going to use. The Pro Palette. Let's do some swatches on these. Maybe you can't see swatches. Let's see if we can see swatches on here they're not super bright colors but I do like like the blue is really showing up good and all that so top row bottom row I really think I'm gonna like these just glitter shades which I already swatched these once just to see so we're gonna swatch this on top of the other okay arm. so minus the top four shades because you cannot tell but the ones on top are going to be the per I have used this one. I'll go in and swatch them for you as well on the top, top part of this arm. I don't feel like you can necessarily see anything but like that arm. Okay, so truth, y'all. <clears throat> I just had a baby 10 months ago. I had literally gained like 90 pounds. I was pregnant. And so I've lost 45 and I'm still working on losing the rest. It's awful. But it's okay. Because I'm going to lose it. So I'm going to take a round brush like this. I got all my brushes off of Amazon. Because they're rather cheap. 
actually it's stuck in this one just ignore that <laughs> but yes they're rather cheap and so I'm gonna use this brush right here and it's just like a fluffy brush I feel like any brush that's fluffy like that will work for your transition shade now whenever I go in with my transition shade I'm gonna go straight in like so because if I don't, I find that it gets everywhere. And then I'm just going to windshield wiper motion back all the way to the front and all the way over to here. I did not put on eye primer. I don't know how many times I have literally started putting on makeup without eye primer. Okay, well, we'll switch off the eye primer. Ooh, I can stop we're dropping stuff. The Lorac eye primer that we got, and we're going to test it out because we're not going to put eye primer on the other side. And we're going to put eye primer on this side. Sometimes I go on with the base, but I'm not going to just because I really want to know how to work with this makeup and if it works really well. So, like, literally there's, like, hardly any fallout from this. There's a little bit, but not a lot, which I like. I always tap my brushes, and then we're just going to go in and see how this works out. I try to focus towards the top part, obviously, whenever I'm doing this. And I'm going to go a little bit on the edge of the lid, on the outer corner of the lid. Okay, so you can already see <laughs> how much easier it went on that eye versus this eye. So I would say the eye primer is doing good. Let's just see how it blends. I think I'm going to have a really hard time putting eyeshadow on this eye because I have no primer on. Okay. Now we're going to go in with a little bit of a thicker brush. This is the Urban Blending Brush, Urban Decay. And you can see the top part of it. I really like this brush for blending off the transition shade whenever you go in deeper. I'm going to go in with the rose color, which was this one right here. Onto the inside corner or the inside crease. Just to kind of make that crease pop out a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh wow, yeah, it's blending so much easier on this side. I just want to give a little bit of light and appearance. And we're going to go back in over the crease in a little bit to um, make it a little bit darker because I always do even if I say I'm we're not gonna going to. We're going to go in with that orange color, the stunner color over here. That's this one right here. Same brush. And we are going to focus on the outside corner over here and really bring this color out over to here on the outer edge. And I really like to get the inside part of this and we're going to blend it on in a second so have no fear. But it's really pretty. You can see that orangey color mixed with that pop of gold over there. That's cute. Now I don't have the best setup obviously. I'm not this is my first video that I'm doing, so I'm sure lots of things will change with the way that I do my makeup in the future, as it always does. I really like that orange pop over there, though. That really looks cool. So we're going to go back with our transition shade, that mocha color, and really pull that color, those colors together right here. And that's all we're doing is just blending that eye out a little bit and just kind of with that big old brush that we used at the beginning. I mean, I have no color on the brush right now. I'm just kind of blending back and forth. So here we have it right here. Any flat eyeshadow brush will work. And what I do is I do not use setting spray on my brushes because it specifically says avoid eye area. <laughs> on the setting spray and um, I just have this rose gold water and it is organic rose water that I buy off of Amazon. It's by Teddy Organics and it works wonders and I just spray it twice on the brush on both ends. Let me take that off. Um, normally on a color that's just glittery glittery you don't have to do that but I already know just by putting this swatching it on that I'm going to need that because it didn't swatch real heavy pigmented so then we're just gonna put this over it and it's really just gonna like pop off this eye look that we're doing today 
I feel like this eye is like so chalky from not having a primer on. Like, I mean, it's just like low chalky. You can't really see it on the camera, of course, but I mean, you're just like, how much eyeshadow do you have on? Like a lot, but you're not supposed to know that. <laughs> so, pretty, right? It's pretty, but chalky. I just lay it down on this part, like while I'm just building up that pigmentation that I'm looking for. I want it to be really glowy. Like I use this part of the brush, like instead of doing it flat, I flip it and I use like the input. Okay, so I feel like the purr is definitely blending a lot easier than the Lorac. But you don't get an eye primer, so if you already have an eye primer, then I probably would buy this purr over the other one. I don't necessarily like the eyeshadow on this one so much, and I don't know why, but I just don't. On the selfie, I just feel like flash is really chalky, so is filter, and um, I don't know, it's just like the masks don't show up that great. I just, I didn't really like the palette that good. So I was really skeptical on buying this Saray palette, but I'm really glad that I did now. And so, I mean, essentially, I had $25 clothes cash, and I bought this for, what, 30 what was it, $34? Yeah. So, $14, right? No. Yeah, $14. It's not bad for a palette. So you can see the final eye look right now. Okay, we're going to do it, y'all. What else? I am going to take a really thick brush like this. And again, this is one off my Amazon pack. It doesn't have a number or anything, so just try to match the shape if you're following along. Oh my gosh. Fall out everywhere. I just really want to that contrast there for some reason today. There we go. I mean, I just feel like it makes a huge difference in the way that the eye looks. You see the right versus the left? You can barely tell, but I mean, it just is enough to be like, whoa, you know? And I'm just putting that right above the crease line right there. I'm barely putting any color into it, and of course I'm not going all the way into the outer edge because I don't want it to cover up that orange. So I went in with Epic and did that. And it does make a huge difference. Then once you set it off with your eyeliner and stuff, that'll be awesome. This eye over here is not working it. It's not blending at all. You can see all the fallout on my cheeks and stuff. Okay, so eye primer is a yes. I will definitely use eye primer again. And it's the Lorac eye primer. Behind this, we have done our eyebrows. Don't judge. I have a funny story to tell you about my eyebrows. Um, I went and got them done about three years ago, and the lady who did them literally took off half this eyebrow. And she plucked in everything else. And if you go back and look before, like I put my eyebrows on, I literally have to draw them in um, almost completely because they are completely different. Um, so they're not twins anymore. They're not even cousins. They're completely different people. Um, but they look okay today, so I don't, I did use this little guy that I got in one of my boxes. This is Winky, Winky Lux. Um, I will say for sure that I do like the eye look. I do like the way this one definitely blended out a lot better than this one. But I still really like the way that it looks. And um, I think I'm oh. going to go in with the Lorac <clears throat> Mocha that we did as the transition shade at the beginning. And I use the big brush again. And I just kind of dab it in there. Because I don't want a ton of product. And then I'm just going to go in right at the bottom. And I just kind of rub it real light handed all the way along this bottom part, which is why I didn't do the bottom part yet, or the bottom eyeliner yet, just because I wanted to do this part first. This orange is really making my eyes look fairly green. 
um, which I like when my makeup does that because they're generally a dark brown unless I put on like makeup around them and then they turn green it's like magic okay so I really like that right there and then I'm gonna go in with this little baby brush right here same one that we used on the outer corner and we're gonna really pick up this stunner shade right on the end right here the end of that brush Make sure to tap it out so this one has a lot more fallout than the black and now we're just gonna go right along the waterline right here So with my eyeliner, I'm just going to go straight from that crease at the bottom and my eyes watering, so that's great, and just straight on the outside edge right here, which does kind of make that orange pop off just a little bit. And I'm using the Eye Man Brown Eyeliner. I love brown eyeliner. I love all colors of eyeliners. Um, I like blue too. The navy color for the brown eyes is really oh, yeah. cool. So they have the snow color right here that we're going to use on the inside of our eyes real quick. We're going to go back to this brush right here, the flat brush. I will say I really like the Lorac eyeshadow. I feel like it does. it is very pigmented, does not have a lot of fallout, it blends very well. I mean, granted, it's $10 more than the Purr, but I would definitely get that one over the Purr. So if I had to choose between the two, I would definitely go with that one. I'm going to go a little bit over the eye, underneath the eyebrow right here. Same thing over here. Oh, girl. That looks pretty. I could definitely see using... I'm excited about that palette. I can just see lots of different things happening. I wish they would have set it up different though, like with the colors, because I like them whenever they put the colors where I can really just envision it without having to work with it first. This is the purr that I got with the selfie. And let's go in and see how this does. I don't have that many eyelashes left. After getting pregnant, I feel like half my hair is falling out. <laughs> after the baby and breastfeeding and everything, which I can give y'all lots of hints and trips on, tips and trips. Don't have any trips. I'm um, breastfeeding too, if y'all are interested in that. Okay, so I feel like this, eyesh this mascara, eyeshadow, <laughs> This mascara is really good. Like it really does like emphasize your lashes a lot. It has a really dark color to it. You don't have to mess with it a lot. But I don't, I mean, it's not, you know how like you have that, some of those mascaras that after you put it on, it like sticks completely to your upper eye lid. Well, that's not happening here. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's good. So yes, I would buy this again. So I'm going to use this bronzer from Purr. I do really like the bronzer. Um, I do feel like it could blend a little bit better, but that's okay. We're going to use the Real Techniques. This is a blush brush. You can also get this at Kohl's. And I do suggest it. I like the way that the top is because it's not exactly pointed, but it's kind of rounded. And so it really gets into that good contour line. So whenever I go into contour... I do this and then I look up at the mirror while I'm doing it so then that way so then that way I can really get in there good um, see that line because I don't really I don't have really skinny cheeks like most of the people you're gonna see on YouTube um, because I just gained all that weight from the baby so it was really hard for me to learn how to contour my face at the beginning but now it's a lot easier so let's do this So it's a really pretty color. 
like I said, I feel like, okay, anything that goes well on my face is good. Because my face is really, 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 really dry. And it's even worse now. And I've done so much over the last six months to try to get it back. But it just does not matter. And you can't really tell on camera. Even if I get close up, you can't really tell, tell. But you can see it a little bit. So I'm going to take this all the way up. I really, because I have such a round face, want to hide a lot of that. And if you can tell even a difference already just by doing that on this side. And I'm going to show you how I cover up my double chin, double chin too. Even though that's not what this video is about. But I got to do it, so I might as well show you how I do it. But you can see, like, already what a difference that makes. And I do go in a lot with my bronzer on the edge of my face. So you can already see, it's like magic for your face. It like makes you at least look 10 pounds lighter just by doing that. That's crazy, right? So I really do like that. Um, this is my highlight contour palette from The Balm. Um, I've read mixed reviews about this. Oh, the blush just fell out. It's okay. So I went ahead and tried it prior to the video just because I wanted more than just a first impression of it. And I will say that I do like it. The only thing I don't like is the blush and this orange color. I don't know what in the world anybody would ever need that color for. I don't I don't know. If y'all know what it's for, then let me know. But I will say the blush does not blend. It it's just really weird. I don't know. It's really weird. So we're not using that blush and we're just gonna take it out and it fell out anyway so it's going away now so we know what it no longer gives us it's just not there okay I'm gonna use it's like a deeper it's the um, buffing brush from real techniques I really like this for my contour because I feel like it really gets in there in there okay I don't use the dark dark shade I use a light shade I do feel like it blends really well and it sets in so I do approve this one especially if it's like your first like if you've never bought another highlighting palette before I would definitely say to go for this one don't forget along your jaw line you want to do a three so I just don't do a three all together and cover up that creaminess right here I always go on the inside part of my ear too because I feel like with me being a little bit bigger like that's necessary so you can see like it really does do the trick as far as contouring my forehead looks really dark but it's really not okay so then we're gonna go in with the contour brush and I use the contour brush for my chalky highlights it's just not too chalky right I'm going to use the banana flavor, or the banana flavor, because <laughs> we're going to eat it. <laughs> the banana one. And go right underneath my eyes. Go on the cubic, so I know I can. I don't highlight this bottom part of my chin because my face is bigger, so I don't want to kind of pull attention okay to so that. we're gonna go on with the cargo blush this is in the shade Bali this would be $26 for a regular size and I actually use the square foundation brush for my blush and I'll show you why because I don't want a lot on and I go in very light-handed and so I just go in on right above my bronzer I just kind of tap it on out. I feel like whenever I use other brushes, the only thing with this is if you're having a really dry skin day, you really don't want to tap that hard with this brush because it will make your skin do crazy things. So, but I feel like if I use the other brushes, like I really cannot control it as much as I can this one. So I just tap it onto the spots that I want it. It's really controlled and precise and like really blends well whenever I do it this way. See? So 
so it's just like a little bit of a small soft line right above my bronzer you can see it but it's not too much it kind of just blends right into that bronzer and the contour This side's having a little bit of issues just because it is so dry, so like I said, if things can blend on my face, they've passed the test. Okay, highlight. So we just need to go into the champagne color, and then we're just going to go right there on top of that blush line right there. I do really like the highlighter. I don't feel like it is the best wah highlighter. But to get it all in a palette, that's not bad. And again, this palette was $36. So for it to be $36 and for the amount of products that you get, I feel like it's a good deal. And especially if you have Kohl's cash, like you really can't go too wrong with it, you know? I mean, I don't feel like it really makes your skin really patchy. I feel like you can see the highlighter, so it's there, bam. You know, so it's not bad. And then... Overall looks good. So the last thing I need to do is go in. I use this kind of brush right here. It's like an angled eye brush, but it's and really thick. for the last step of my face, I'm gonna go with the matte banana color again, and right underneath here to kind of emphasize in between. My face is really having a hard time on that side. Arden Plum Rose lip liner. I go a little bit higher than my lip. Okay, so we are going to use Estee Lauder's Pure Color Envy. I love their lipstick. Rip the Pearl Lip Gloss and try that one out. Because I know that Estee Lauder is really good, so. The right amount of shine and it's not really thick. I like it. I think it would be better over like a matte lipstick though. So this is okay. So look. just to recap, I love the cargo blush. I would definitely suggest that. Um, if you are on there, if you don't have the brushes, I would definitely go and get the Real Techniques brush from or brushes from them. Um, I do think that this would be a good buy if you are lacking on highlighter or you need a highlighter contour kit. This would be a good one to start out with. Um, I think the pure selfie is a pass unless you really just want to try it. Um, I feel like you can get the lip gloss and the mascara separate. Um, and maybe the bronzer. The bronzer was good. Um, the Lorac Pro is a definite go. I would definitely do that one. The, this one is kind of eh. Eh. Because the colors don't really show up the way that they should on your eye. So, um, but I do think the Lorac Pro, because it comes with the eye primer, is definitely a good one to go with. Um, now your Bliss. This, in, the Incredible Pills, the ones that come with the well, things that you set with overnight, I would say no. Not for the price tag. Not worth it. You can find a lot better ones other, way, other places. Um, your Bliss Steam Clean, I would say yes, especially if you can get it for half off like I did. I'm not mad at it. This, um, yes, makes your life so much easier with the cleaning the brushes and everything. Um, the Solution 2, which I do have, I just don't have with me right now. But the Solution, yes, that is good. Um, so, they have a drying rack too, which I'm interested in, but I didn't see whenever I went to Kohl's. You can probably get it online. But at any rate, if you are interested um, in me doing any other products from Kohl's, please let me know because obviously I like to go and shop there and get used out of my Kohl's cash. Um, but I didn't feel like other people had necessarily done this yet. So I wanted to go ahead and dabble into it and see if it would be a hit for my first video. Yay! <laughs> and um, I will talk more about myself and everything about me in other videos. But this was a makeup tutorial, obviously, and talking about Kohl's. So I didn't want to get into it too long or make the video too long. Um, but yeah, 
I think that it was overall a huge success and I think that it is really nice to be able to spend your close cash on makeup because I mean who doesn't want to buy some makeup um, I will link all the products below and um, let you know let me know what you thought if you've tried any of the products bye guys